Hello there, everybody. Welcome on back to some more modded Isaac Eden streaks. Oh boy, it's gonna be one of those runs today, huh? So undefined. And by undefined, I mean missing. No, <laughs> that sucks, dude. Uh, A3 E04G2R is gonna be one of those runs today. Uh, plus, we have just horrendous starting stats. Uh, luckily, the damage is good, but uh, 23 rate of fire. I'd have more tears cutting onions with my fingernails than friggin' doing this run right now. Uh, it's gonna be a salty ass episode, dude. Like, like ramen from a mediocre Japanese restaurant. We're gonna see how this goes. Obviously, we're on a three streak. We're, we're trying not to not to not be on a three streak. Okay. How did you not blow that up, though? Come on, dude. So this is one of those runs you can't get too attached to anything because missing those just gonna change it on the next floor. And, and if we're banking on luck, right? Uh. If we get a crappy roll on a floor, we're, we're donezo. I mean, look, it gets it out of the pool, so I suppose that's fine. Um, if we get a crappy roll, then then we could just die. Like, you know, a, a pyromaniac, not pyromaniac, Ipecac, uh, my reflection, you're donezo. You know, you're donezo. So we have to do our best to, on floors where we actually have the benefit here we need to take advantage and we need to stack up as much hp as possible because when we re-roll um which we literally don't have a choice in doing since we started with the freaking item uh then then you you have to play well like right i mean like there, there's it sounds stupid to be like oh the key to this run is not going to get a secret room even if it was there which i don't think it would have been right also, that, that troll bomb could have gotten it, but neither here nor there. Did I give you the seed? A3? Yeah, it did. It was right there if you missed it, right? So, terrible run. I hate it. Like, I really do. I hope that I'm, I'm proven wrong and this run ends up being phenomenal. But we're, we're likely going to be looking for cheap ways to get a quick win on this one. Uh, that, that could mean literally going for, like, a we need to go deeper. And, and just let it take us as many floors as we can. Although, it'll get re-rolled, so is it really going to help at all? The answer is probably not. Um, I, don't, I don't know how you get out of this quickly. It, it's going to be a lot of cheesing. Trying to game break to get enough items that when we re-roll, it, it likely is not harmful enough that it just ruins our life or something. It's a mess, though. I hate runs like this because... It puts a lot of pressure on me to find a way to to keep a streak alive when it like literally has every chance to die. And we're still we're early on in the streak again, right? And it's only a three streak that we're on. So I mean, look, HP up. It ain't gonna matter because we're gonna go down. We're gonna lose the HP up anyway. So now what do we have? Cat and nine tails for some damage, uh, and the the cracked bean that literally cost us the first streak. Um, but twelve rate of fire is, is way better than where we were, so we're chilling. We also did happen to keep the HP from uh, from dinner, which is interesting. I, I did not think that was actually, I don't know, even possible. But I'll chill with it. So because of Crack Bean, this should be infinite bombs for us, right? Or Shockwave Bean or whatever that is. So like, as soon as it comes out... I mean, if we're gonna wait for it to come out... We got negative luck right now, so it's a pretty low likelihood. I'll sit and fire at this rock. Yeah, okay. It, it absolutely works the way I want it to. I will sit and fire at these for the benefit, man. I have no issues with that. Um, I'll, I'll min-max my life away on this one i think it needs it right like i think it needs it that that's a decent amount of money we got out of that room from that item uh doing what it did dude i hate the shockwave bean i know i just 
saying its praises for five seconds, but the item sucks. It sucks. You you can't control it doing damage to you. Like you just you just can't. Our range is horrible, dude. So this is two bombs. That's important to keep in mind. It's not we're we're not dead set, right? Like it's not like just because we have two bombs. Life is amazing. We, we have infinite bombs coming out of our tears, more or less. Okay, I mean, we should kill you. And then we can worry about this thing. So don't use this bomb before popping to... Or use this bomb before popping to a clubs. Or just wait until you get another one on top of it. I think you just go for it. Right, we obviously still want to hit a devil deal. Oh, I mean... You, you want to get as many items as possible, okay? The devil deal part, you lose HP in the process, so that's not that's not the most ideal, I suppose. I mean, if you can get free items elsewhere, that's the best case scenario. Uh, this is a weird one, though. Because I'm going to be real with you, I think you want all of them. So, take that, take this, take that. And I think you want Guppy's Paw. So, obviously, if this was our run, dude, for the rest of the run, oh, hell, we'd be sitting as pretty as we could ever sit. Um, however, this will not be our run. This is going to get re-rolled. Um, but Guppy's Paw should not get re-rolled, right? So now we have a way to generate HP if we get into a scenario where... We don't have a lot of it. At least that's what I'm thinking. It might get re-rolled. Box of Friends didn't when we crossed over the floor. So I'm hoping that that's, you know, going to stay constant. We'll see, right? Uh, but overall, I think this was a very successful uh, floor for us here. At least so, so far. I mean, we, we still have an item room to go. A and you're kind of... It, it's weird because you're hoping for terrible items a lot of the times from your from your rooms because then that opens up the opportunity for good items to come in in the future so the extra bombs is fantastic if you drop nine lives i will forever be happy you didn't you could have it upsets me a little bit that you didn't but you could have okay i wouldn't mind messing around in that too but we don't have the keys to necessarily do that right now that also sucks that you're there. It, one golden key gives us so much benefit, it, it's actually insane. But the chance of a golden key popping out, hell, we don't even have... Dude, we don't got anything cracking for us. So I think at this point, what you want to do is double your bombs. Although you actually you don't yet, and, and I'll tell you why. Because we, we should be able to open up this. Right? Just wait for a bean. It'll come, dude. It'll come. Min-max, man. You, you gotta... You gotta min-max. I hate it, but you, you do have to. Okay, it, it's getting a little bit ridiculous. It's just like one bean. There we go. It doesn't even open it. So, pop two of clubs... It's one of those, you know, how was I supposed to know? Then I think you, you you possibly have to go all in on blank card now. You didn't get a key from this. Dude, Guppy's Paw, it, it's really good, okay? But you're, you're going for the big play, right? And, and the big play is to, to absolutely... Try to make, uh, I think this is our super secret. The big play is to try to make blank card work on this run. Justice. Okay, now we're talking, dude. We, we got more opportunities a knocking right now. Because now you have an ability to get, uh, keys. Justice. So now, it, it, what is the correct play, right? Is it one item, or is it a chest? I'm gonna be real. I think it's a chest. I, I think it's a chest. Tammy's head is fine, 
but it's not really what we want. I think then you you actually pop this, you open this, you get a death card. Not not really the best case scenario. Probably would have preferred just getting an item, but it's fine. We'll reroll. We're gonna get five random items, right? Uh, and hopefully not lose blank card. Please don't lose blank card. For the love of God, don't lose blank card. You didn't lose blank card. I don't I don't think we're gonna lose blank card, man. So pitiful damage and rate of fire. Um goat head, so a guaranteed devil deal on this floor. We did actually roll a guppy item. Which is crazy. Um I'm trying to figure out if I should be using the death card in this room. That's probably the worst I've played in a while. Okay. We could have popped the death card in this room. But I don't think it was required. We have leprosy, but I don't think that we care. Right? Dude, this is immediately... I, I've never wanted to win a run more than this one. That was very lucky. I didn't actually want to open that. You know what? Take it so it doesn't ruin us later. I, I hate this item, though. It's very, very laggy. Um... So we're, we're banking on it not affecting us now. Okay, this is a good room to pop that in. Because otherwise we're going to just die in here. This is why it's laggy. Because each individual tier stays on the screen. Uh, and that creates a big problem. This is a floor. Get me the hell out of here ASAP. Because it's not good. I will take the damage. It's fine. Uh, what do you got? Card? Card is Wheel of Fortune. Jesus. Uh... Let's do this. That's a lot of benefit that came out of that. I'll buy the uh, spirit heart. Thank you. And then we go. Don't need piggy bank. Although piggy bank, I, <laughs> it's actually tough. I think we maybe want piggy bank because uh, it's another item that gets into the reroll, right? If I get a key, uh, coin early here, I'll, I'll go back and and buy a piggy bank. It's just every item that we throw into the deck. You know, it's like when we're building a building a deck in Slay the Spire, okay? But that deck is like a Sneko deck, and every item we add in right now is a two cost card. You know, it's it has the possibility to be amazing for us on that next room, right? Or it has the opportunity to be terrible. And it changes, you know, one of my one costs to a three cost. And now I can't do crap with it. it, it the entire run right now is a massive gamble. But the only way to succeed in that massive gamble is to just stack yourself with as much as you can. And then hope the game feels sorry for you. You know? It's kind of all we can do. And it sucks that that's all we can do. Because I hate playing any game like this which is why i don't know why i like sneko so much in slay this fire because i shouldn't right like i really shouldn't it goes against everything i like you know having full control over a situation uh it, it straight up removes that control from the situation yo blank card emperor card is like remember when i was saying what is the method we need to succeed here we just found it right like this is huge. We have a way to just skip floors. Okay. I like that a lot, to be honest. Um, it does put us in some awkward scenarios. Because we could end up missing out on items. Item rooms, things like that. But we, we, can, we can do partial of floors. Like, do a couple rooms, get to the item room, take your item, get the hell out. You know? And that's that's fine, dude. I blew up all four of them with that bomb, and I I'm gonna consider myself a god for a little bit because of that. That's a crazy good play by me. Bubble wrap still, it's being bubble wrap, dude. You'd think the item would be amazing, and in in theory it is. It's just the lag that it gives is over the top bad. Okay. Should not be that bad of a boss fight. Especially when you can get a couple of bombs in there. 
so good, dude. I'm playing out of my mind on this run, and it feels fantastic. So, Awas, I also like Nose Goblin. Um, shouldn't have popped that at that moment, but that's okay. Krampus is, is kind of a uh, sucky Krampus here. Because uh, I believe spinning brimstone's gone, right? So I don't need to worry about that. It's a sucky Krampus, although Lump of Coal was the best case scenario for us. Because now that gets re-rolled into uh, another item. So, pop Awas. And then head down. Am I going to immediately Emperor? No. Unless it's a terrible, terrible run. So, I, it's pretty bad. Let, let, let's call a spade a spade. It's pretty freaking bad. Um... 3 damage, 15 rate of fire is horrible. But we can work with it. And we do have this sponge. Uh, and sponge, it, it does enough, right? Don't forget like I'm about... Shouldn't have popped that in this room. Don't forget about um, that Emperor card. And you know you won't, right? Like, I'm not gonna forget about it. That should kill him. Okay. Let's grab the Emperor. We're actually going to use it now. I'll pop him. Blood bag. Don't care. See ya. Beelzebub. Just chonk him, dude. Uh, phenomenal plays, to be honest. Not sure how I actually took damage there. I I'm a little bit upset about that. Uh... Didn't think I, I actually got hit by him. Orbitals are kind of your best friend on this one, too. Including Orbital Potato, my good friend and colleague from the uh, modded Minecraft with the Wholesome Boys series. Highly recommend. It's, it's banterful and very fun. We talk about everything and anything. Uh, there's Binky, which would have been great on this run to begin with. Uh, I will also... I think I'll take both of these. There's no reason not to take the one if you're going to take the other. It's more items in the deck, dude. Just keep them coming. Uh, as for the rest of the floor, I, I now having little Brim, he can carry us through this floor. So I don't feel terrible about uh, going for a item room slash shop here. You don't necessarily have the money for the shop. Uh... Like, you're getting there, right? It's not a guarantee, but you're getting there. Five more cents. It's, it's likely that we can find five cents on this floor. Okay, little brim. Just just crank on him. You're doing, you're doing God's work, little brim. You're doing God's work. Call up Drake. Okay, smack. Good stuff. Card. Justice. Okay. Justice. Pop it twice. Consumables all of a sudden, man. Hard chilling. Right? Hard chilling. They ain't the issue on this run. This this is testing my ability to use Little Brim. Uh, a item that I normally do not pick up because I actually don't really like it. Uh, but it's fine. Looking for Steam Sale to come out of this guy as well. Because mainly you just want any item whatsoever. The money and it being a luck up, you, you actually can't complain about that. But you were looking for a item. Any item you get is going to benefit. If I could figure out in my head uh, calculating the acronym for any item you get, you're going to benefit. Uh, then I would say those letters. Instead, I'm just going to be like A, B, C, Q. And every item you get benefits somebody will put that in the comments and i'll be like what the hell is this guy saying with random characters and letters and i'll probably like block your comments in the future but it's okay uh head on down you gained an extra three items on that floor including a book that now puts you one step closer to the bookworm transformation not a problem dude you're one away from the guppy transformation keep that in mind you do end up with an easy holy crap 42 rate of fire uh, I was gonna say you end up with an easy one here, but do you though with Isaac's heart 42 rate of fire? Yeah, there's my first Isaac's heart hit. 
can't see our HP either, uh, which I hate that. But the damage is good enough. And we do have Rotten Baby, so like situations like this, don't kill your charge. Just chill. And then let her rip again. Isaac's heart taking damage again. You hate to see it. You have the Emperor. Don't be afraid to pop it. Like, it'll be okay. That's why it's here is popping blank card. You, you can't escape that. Now, on the bright side, this does kill one run ending item out of the rotation. You know, no Isaac's heart for the future is very good. Okay? It's very good. And don't get me wrong. Isaac's heart, I, I'm not a hater. Okay? Isaac's heart has runs where it benefits. It's just, it's not this one. So, you know, there are times where I am totally fine taking Isaac's heart on a run. Just not right now. Wow. That was really lucky. I don't know how I didn't get hit. So, take this. I think I'm good with that. Right? I think I'm good with that. It's just another item in the deck. Every item you add adds benefit. Yada, 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 yada. Uh, you know what? I'm out. And a bloat fight is cherry on top of the sundae of a terrible situation. And it's even worse right here. Just stay on top of them. You, you took... Dude, you took a lot of damage on this floor. But you're going to take damage on some floors. Experimental treatment, it kind of doesn't matter. It was a massive tears up. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's probably good. And then I'm going to go. So, tech axe out of the rotation. So is Isaac's heart. You got Beelzebub. So, you got flight on every run from here on out. And you got full HP. This is one. I'm going to be real with you. We, we officially have enough items, right? I, I, I think. This is one you rock. Blue baby's only friend. Until you get enough uh, enough charge. And then we're out of here. I don't think we need to stick around on this floor very long. For me to be content and happy in life. Just kill him. Thank you. We don't need to get cute. Just, just let her rip, dude. Stay. You got flight. Seriously, it, play like a baby. Play like a baby if it gives you the maximum opportunity to win and get out of this alive. You also have 0.53 speed, okay? Y you can't, you can't do anything with 0.53 speed, so. And I like Nose Goblin. I still think that is the correct, uh correct trinket to be rocking. I think it's a top 10 trinket in the game, to be honest. It's basically sinus infection with, with less coming out. It's very good. So you do have a charge ready. Um, why am I not teleporting, you might ask? It's something that I like to call, well, I mean, to be fair, I was gonna say it's something I like to call greed, but then I saw that room where I was almost destined to take a hit, and I went, it ain't worth the one item that I'm going to get on this floor. Um, I think we have enough items. Now, a mom fight where your only damage dealers in a lot of ways are Blue Baby's only friend and Bob's brain. It's cursed, dude. I mean, it's super cursed, but are you getting through it by only taking like one damage? Yeah, two damage. It's totally fine. Just take the Polaroid, get the hell out of here. Uh, and then from here on out, man, is is automatic teleport. And I'll cheese this run to hell, dude. I'll cheese it to hell. Uh, so this is a... Monstro's Lung? Yeah. Okay. Our HP got absolutely bodied for some reason. It's a really strong run um, when we actually can fire our tears. The problem is our f our rate of fire is 150, dude. 
a hundred and fifty. Also known as our frame rate is too high, okay? Or too low, depending on how you think about it. It's absolutely horrendous. Okay. I will take you. I will take you. I Belisle. Look, you're beautiful, buddy. I, I love you with a passion, but we don't need you, right? We don't need you. There's another transformation. Spun is now active. Eight damage on this one. It's a terrible run, though. Um, still 18 rate of fire. I mean, it's doing damage, at least. And it appears we have... It's probably tech point five. We all Okay, we also have kidney stone. It's okay. I'm still teleporting immediately. Um, if we get a run that, you know, is legitimately fun and we want to just play with it for a little bit, then I, I'll absolutely do that ten times over. Oh, dude, we have... Uh, we have money equals power as well here. But that's not something that's going to affect later runs. So we don't need to sit and farm that. Like, that damage will go away when we remove the item. Overall, pretty good. I'm out. See ya. It's going to be a really fast run, okay? Uh, and, and the thing is, people are going to see the... Uh, they're going to see the video. They're going to see, like, less than 30 minutes for the run. And they're going to go, oh, damn, he's going to die. And then they're going to see the starting item. And they're going to go, oh, damn, he's dead. And hopefully that's just not going to be the case. Uh, head up. You got two more floors, dude. Two more floors of random items. So what is this? <laughs> okay. Uh, and there's a truck just, like, chilling. On the bright side, close to full HP. So we do have that going for us. I think this is still terrible. And fighting Isaac is going to be horrendous. But, <laughs> strong but, uh, I think we can do it. It's like, it is bad. It's a bad run. But, uh, we can kill Isaac with this. And we're going to do it right now. So, bang. We have some kind of sticky tear. I don't know if that's sinus infection. I hope it is. Oh, we got Cursed Eye. That's what the teleport is. Or that's what the charge shot is. I should have picked up on that. It's literally sitting on the side. Okay. We got to be a bit more careful in the Isaac fight. That's my bad. Okay. That's my bad. That's that's poor attentiveness on my part. I should have looked at the full array of items. I should be looking at the full array of items every time we enter the new floor. Like, genuinely going in here and looking at them. It looks like I have 15 mom shovels. I think those are modded items uh, in there. That's the problem, is what, with it being modded, it's tough to really tell anything a lot of the time. I'm still pissed that we got two guppy items on the first two floors and then never got another one. Like, what are the odds of that, man? That's pretty low, to be fair. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can just remedy that and get another guppy item out of the random reroll here on the next floor. Well, let's go back. The Emperor. Isaac fight. How much damage is that truck doing? Is it enough for me to just dodge? <laughs> this is one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I just want the red heart. Dude, he actually has brought him into phase two. Dude, truck for president right now. He's killing it. The truck is so good, dude. It's so good. I believe in our mighty truck overlord. <laughs> what a 
dumb situation. Okay. No, I lost the uh, bone heart. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Just don't teleport, man. If you, if you don't charge shots, you can't teleport. Big brain plays. You're probably like, Tyler, watching this truck single-handedly kill Isaac is taking years off of my life. I'm not disagreeing with you. It's, it's horrible. But if it's horrible and it works, is it horrible? We'll, we'll use some bombs as well. I think he's dead here, man. Come on, truck. Dude, truck for freaking president. Let's go. Okay, that's, that's a huge play for us. Huge play. One final floor of a random reroll. And of course, it has to be a triple shot Ipecac. However, this will help a little bit at least. Um, so you can't take anti-grav. Right? Terrible idea. Taurus was also a horrible idea. Not sure what my uh, plan was there. It's one of those, man. It's one. Of, why would you take that? I I think you have to. You have to just do this. Like you, you have to play it cool. This this was the exact terrible run that you didn't want from your final fight or final reroll whatever Taurus get the damage in where you can okay we have no idea how much HP we have so it's a little bit of a crapshoot but are we are we doing it we're close. That will almost do it. One more bomb. It's just one more. He's dead. Get me out of this run. Uh, frig that. Okay, fun run. Said nobody ever. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry for the horrendous commentary during this one, but that one required uh, all of the brain cells in my body to figure out how to make that run a win. But thanks so much for watching. Four wins in a row. Getting back, dude. Getting back. Uh, and that that's a hearty win at that. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. You have a good one. Goodbye.